All right, so for our next trick, I wanna take pretty much this entire column here and go right click and hold, actions, create reference copy. What create reference copy does is it says it takes every single parameter on every node and you can see they all have this color which basically means that all of that kind of like copy parameter paste reference thing, it did that for us on every single parameter on every node. And that'll be useful because a lot of these things we do kind of want to be the same. But some things will have to change. So for example, I'm going to template our ground and then look here. Looks like our viewport is stuck here. Why does it look like that? So this happens sometimes, just as well as it's happening now. If you ever see the um, viewport not update, sometimes you can come out and go back into the geometry node and that will fix it. You'll probably see that happen a few times today where there's little bugs here and there. So in any case, I, I'm templating this by clicking on the pink button here and I'm going to here. So this is gonna be our column. Now the column should be as tall as the room is, so I'm copying the Y size, reference it here. It should be centered in the same manner. I want it to be th only thickness wide though, like so. Maybe even twice that. And I definitely want the X and Z sizes to be the same because it's a column. Now I can also see though that it's sticking into the ground. So if I grab the ground's Y size, I can subtract that. So I'm going to say minus paste relative references, and there you go. And now you can see it rests nicely on the ground. As we saw when we did these, we had them move in the positive Z direction, positive X direction, positive Y direction. And because of that, I want this column to sit in the negative X and negative Z. That way we can also duplicate them going the other direction. So where should this go? Well, it should go in ha negative half of the Z. Because again, if it's a Z across, then half of, it, uh, half of the Z will bring us to the edge. So I'll just start with regular half a Z. So 0 0.05 times that went the wrong side, so as I said earlier, negative. Similarly, copy the x, reference it here, and do negative 0 0.5. I hope you're having a good time. I know this is a little bit more boring than what we're usually doing with sim stuff, and you can skip ahead to the fracture, but again, this will all kind of snowball into a pretty cool procedural system as we keep going. So there's our column in the right spot. It's packed still. Concrete floor one, well this is gonna be called concrete column. Watch out though. If I middle click this, or I can just see, it still says concrete floor, because remember it's referencing this. So that can't be. So delete that channel, and make sure that this is still dollar sign OS. So now it says concrete column. But beware again because if I look, it still says concrete floor. And that's because under the bindings here, there's a little tricky evaluation node path where it's actually looking at this node still because we copied that over as well. So delete that and go right click, revert to defaults. It should just be a period, which means myself. And now you can see concrete column. Don't worry too much about that. That won't come up very often in Houdini. In fact, I only ever had this happen to me when I was planning this lesson. You're not usually running into that issue. But there you go. So now it says concrete column, which is what we want. Now as for the rest of this, I'm gonna put my view down here in the merge. So this doesn't look quite right. Only duplicating it two times in each direction isn't quite enough. So if I go to here, I can look at the expression by clicking on the parameter and say, you know what? In the, in the Z direction, go one more. In the X direction, same thing, go one more there as well. Cool, but in the Y direction, go one less. So everything's still nice and tied to each other. As I change parameters here, you can see the other stuff will update as well. 
And that's what will be really cool about this kind of procedural building making. Again, color we'll figure out later. Awesome. So for the next one, copy this new column. Don't reference copy it, just do a regular copy now. Because it's still going to copy all of these reference -y things. But I don't want to lose the work we did here for like evaluation node path. So this is going to be uh, what I'm going to call the small wall, or maybe wall small. We should probably name these first so we don't forget. So wall small is going to be these little areas here. So I'm going to shift click on the pink button here and view this. So what do we have done so far? A floor and a column. So this is going to be a small wall. We know that that should be the same X length as our reference thing here. It should be only thickness in the Z, like so. And its centering in the X should just be zero. We want it to just be right smack dab in the middle. Now, it's still resting nicely on the ground because we, we got that same thing from our column here when we copied it over. However, it is intersecting the column here now in the X direction. So let's look back at our columns X, copy that parameter, and subtract that here. And then voila, if I click, you can see. It's now updated and it's quite nice. Hopefully, if we get lucky, we won't have to do anything else. Well, it's close. It went up the, same, the correct amount over and up, but the direction in the X was off. So let's go find the X one and say, you know what, we don't need that extra plus one after all. And there you go. Wonderful. Save that. We're flying now. We need to do the long ways walls now, and we'll be, well, almost, almost done. So shift click on the template here and put the regular view on this. And like I said, we need to go this, the full Z now. So copy parameter there, paste that ref, reference, take the thickness. We want that to move, go in the Z, or in the X rather, like so. We want it to be centered in Z. So delete this channel and make it zero. And we want to move it back, which would be, well, really, our, our column already has it. So I can copy the X centering of our column, because remember, it was in the back. So I can just paste relative references to that, too. Now we have this issue one last time where it's sticking into the column. Now that's in the Z direction. So go to our column, get that size in Z and subtract it. Paste relative references, and there you go. So now it sits in there quite nicely as well. Wall big, like so. And maybe we'll get lucky. We never do, but maybe we will this time. And almost. It's going one too many in the Z direction this time. So just go over to here and get rid of his plus one. And actually, you might think we want to come all the way to the front, but we're actually going to want to do something separate for the walls in the front. We want to punch some windows out of them.